My name is Samson uh, Gola Mwanza. I'm a citizen uh, in Malawi. I want to share my experience uh, with the Manipo Hospital, especially the treatment that I got. I had spine uh, compression, which uh, was not detected or diagnosed for a couple of years, two to three years uh, back home. I still was feeling pain, but maybe because of the uh, technical aspects, it couldn't be diagnosed until the time the compression was really uh, heavy to the point that it rendered me paralyzed. This paralysis made me to be in a wheelchair for about eight months. And during these months, I couldn't do uh, everything that I would normally do as a man as a father and as an employee uh, to my employer. Uh, it was even worse because uh, it was during the year of COVID uh, in 2020. This is the point when uh, I had to look for uh, medical treatment elsewhere, especially outside of my country, Malawi. And I got to know about Manipal Hospital through a colleague uh, at work who had also come uh, to the same hospital uh, for a brain uh, tumor surgery. So when I contacted him and when he knew about my situation, immediately he gave me the contacts for Manipal Hospital. I got in touch with Manipal Hospital and I got all the necessary support uh, to get me uh, have the agency of the situation, especially the treatment. Uh, we settled for the treatment to be done in Manbo Hospital, Bangalore, uh, where the specialist for spine uh, really was uh, in touch with me, uh, giving the agency that is required for my surgery to be done based on my situation. I delayed to come in because of the COVID, as I said, uh, flights were not allowed into the country. I had to wait for another four months uh, before I could fly to India. Finally, when ways were opened, I flew to India, and the same day I arrived, the doctor welcomed me, gave me all the support, and immediately ordered for the tests to be done the same day, and the same day he ordered for my admission. Mr. Uh, Samson Mwanza, reported to us I think a couple of years back with history of progressive paralysis and complete paralysis of one year duration and on evaluation we found that he was suffering from pathological fracture at T3 vertebra. We did all the blood workup and cardiac and other safety measures and gave him a chance of surgery saying that there was less than one percent of chance of recovery from the paralysis because of delay in treatment. He had already spent one year being paralytic, paraplegic and there was a very less chance for him to become fully alright. But however having said, we did convince him that even that one person can become 100% provided he takes that chance and invests on himself and he agreed. And we did perform a surgery to decompress and fuse the upper thoracic spine and patient the biopsy from the tissue which was causing the fracture of the bone T3 was found to be having plasma cells and he was diagnosed to be suffering from plasma cytoma. He was then referred to radiotherapy and chemotherapy and uh, Dr. Vadiraj and Dr. Amit Rautan treated him successfully and he went back from here slowly but steadily recovering some part of neurology. And today when he came I was surprised to see that he is able to walk with just a walking stick and even unsupported at times for short distances. He has got control over his urine and motion which he had none before surgery. He was referred for radiotherapy and as usual for a, like any other patient we had uh, started radiation treatment to that level and we had planned a palliative treatment of 30 grays in 10 fractions. After a couple of uh, radiations, around 4 to 5 radiations, he had a drastic improvement in his power in the lower limbs. So possibly this is because uh, the myeloma is very sensitive to radiation and once we started the radiation, the soft tissue component around that 
D3, D4 level started shrinking and he had a drastic improvement in his uh, power in the lower limbs and by the time he completed his radiation treatment he was almost back to his feet and he was walking. A person who was almost bedridden and he came to the hospital after decompression and radiation treatment. Since myeloma is very sensitive to radiation treatment, he responded well and he started walking back. Post completion of radiation treatment, he was seen by medical oncologist Dr. Amit Rotan and he was started on myeloma specific treatment uh, which he completed in uh, 2021, uh, mid 2021 and after that he went back home and then he uh, did his exercise and he was walking with a walking stick and now he has come for follow-up his myeloma is in remission and he is good and there is no compression and he is walking. The hospital took due diligence uh, to make sure that uh, I was really treated of uh, anything that was associated with my uh, spine compression. I got all the support from the hospital, from the staff, from the doctors and I was referred to probably about four doctors to check on my health situation. That was so much uh, impressive, such that uh, you wouldn't really expect that uh, one doctor would refer you to the other, the other person would also refer you to the other to make sure that everything about you is correct, is treated, is normal. That was so very much uh, impressive. Every year, if a person, if a general public, uh, they undergo tests, the master health checkup, the some blood tests, ultrasound, all these kind of tests, if they undergo, many of these uh, uh, complex problems can be avoided. Here I am, thanks to Manipur Hospital, and uh, Manipur Hospital really helps, and Manipur Hospital really provides what is required to be provided for the support of people's lives. Thank you.